Hello everyone. Um, in this lab, we are going to replicate data back from DR vault to our primary vault. From DR vault to our primary vault. In our previous lab, we did the automatically fail over from primary vault to our DR vault. In this failback lab, we're going to do replicated data back from DR to vault using the manual failover mode. Let's start it. So this is our PVWA. So far, everything is green, is working well. We are using our vault. It shows primary, but actually it runs on our DR vault server. DR vault 192.168.2.22. What we can do, I'm going to make some changes on our vault. And then we will, once we finish the replication from the vault to primary, and then we will check those changes to make sure everything is replicated. I'm going to delete one save and uh, create one count. This is our test DR1 save we created before. So we verify that when we do fail over to DR. So now we delete that in account. We're going to create a new account and make the testing account. We created the administrator account on the test one address, which is in our test one save. So now we go back to our vault 21, which is our primary vault, stopped. And this is our DR vault, it's running. So let's install our disaster recovery component. It's the same step as we install this component on our DR server. But this time we're going to change the vault IP in the settings. Um, the DR user. This is our replicated user and the password on DRs. We are reinstall this component on our primary, but this user is DR user at the DR server. So the address will be our DR vault server address because we're going to replicate the vault from that server which is our dr server right now is acting as primary it's reporting right now while system is reporting um, we're going to change our dr vault dr users password so we log into the DR vault through private R client. This is the gateway access. It has been disconnected. Once you logged in from the vault, you can only can log in one session. We're going to change the password to the password that we entered during installation of our DR component. The reason why we need to check the trust network area, because sometimes the user can be suspended. Just make sure this user is active. We are good now. Right now, our DR vault server is still running. And now let's lo log back into our primary vault.21 and see if the replication completed or not. Probably need a more longer time to wait till the system comes up.
we're gonna check the PDR logs to see replication completed or not. Replicate ended, replication is running successfully. So the DR comp component has been installed after we installed and like using DR user to replicate all your users or saves or metadata from a DR vault to primary vault, which is successfully we can tell from the log. Now we need to make some changes to make sure uh, primary vault can active and DR vault can go back to DR mode. So first thing is PADR configuration. Um, this will not be in FAO mode anymore, it's gonna be primary. And since we are doing a manual failover, we need to activate that. So we need to add a new line to say active manual failover. This will not be automatic failover, this will be manual failover to fail back to the primary vault. See, okay. We're gonna restart the disaster recovery service. So right now it's running. So we're gonna restart it to let it control the fail back process. So this service has been stopped. Here we try to restart it because we already set the active manual failover to yes. So it will not automatically start it. Okay, we try to start again and see what's happening. As you can tell, we try to start the CyberArk Vault Disaster Recovery Service. It shows running it and then Vault Server, it's been started. So it's started by CyberArk Vault Disaster Recovery once we started this service to so service up. Now let's refresh here. Magically, this service, disaster recovery service, we can stop it again. It's not automatically started anymore. That is exactly what we want. We did the fail, fail back and uh, the disaster recovery service were not running after fail back. So we have some work need to do need to do on uh, DR vault as well. So right now both vault are running. Both vault server service are running, which is not what we want. We want DR to go back to into the DR mode and waiting and uh, listening the service on a primary vault server. So what we can do, we can change the settings in the DR vault, the PA DR vault settings, we need to change the settings from failover mode to now. Not enable failover. Enable failover is still need to yes, but the failover mode to be no. And those two lines has to be deleted. And save, quit. To make sure, to make sure next time primary vault down and the DR vault can automatically take over and we need to reset the DR password. So we need to go back to primary vault again and using private arc client to set the DR password. We're gonna reset it. Close.
we need to use create CRUD file exe file to recreate the DR users password and the credential files on DR vault server. Then this way it can match in the primary vault DR users password. This password is the primary vault DR password. In this way, the PADR service will have DR user and uh, credential file with right password inside. When the primary vault is down and the DR vault server can use PADR service to take it over. So that is a necessary step to do to make sure DR user has right password and the, cre and the credential files in the PADR. After we finished the DR user credential file recreation, we can start our DR service. At this moment, our DR service is not running. So we, we are going to enable it and see what's going on. Start. The reason why we cannot start it because this service is still running. So we have to stop this first. Okay, now we can start the disaster recovery service. We can take a look at PADR file again, the logs. So we just did a um, couple of seconds ago, stopping the say, triggering full replication, generating full backup, performing reset master, performing reset snake, applying full replication dump. And then we're going to verify on our primary route to see if the process has been completely finished. Complete PDS service shutting down, design recovery. The last step is to verify the safe has been deleted, the account has been added, so the full replication has been completed successfully. Successfully, so we need to verify from CyberArk PBWA. First, thing, let's take a look at the account we created, administrator account we created for the address test of one, and uh, we can verify the safe. Um, the test of one, test DR1 safe has been deleted, uh, so we can look at the status. Um, we are using primary. Vault and the DR vault is standing by. PSM service is may not refresh right now, but once we do this, you will see the difference. We stop the service, start it again. Um, so for PSM, they may need a while to get uh, to the service connected to the primary vault. That's all the setup for Failback. Hope you enjoyed it.